welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. New Composer users and veterans alike can struggle to tame seemingly unruly balloons for billing materials. Today I'm going to show you two methods for untangling this potential mess. In order for this to go smoothly, I think we really just need to be comfortable with manipulating the paper space as well as using the alignment options for the balloons. Essentially, we need to be able to easily zoom and pan the paper space independently of zooming and panning the geometry within the paper space, and we need to be able to decide how we want our balloons to be arranged and attached to our model. Here's typically how we arrive at the issue. We generate our bill of material IDs and create callouts for the geometry or use the imported IDs from SOLIDWORKS. Then we decide if we need to reposition the model or zoom in to work on a particular part of our image and everything seems to turn into a tangled mess. Let's explore the paper space options first. This tip stemmed from a question that was recently asked in a training class by our customer Cole. As a result, I changed my navigation settings and it left me wondering why I hadn't made this change sooner. If you don't have your paper space turned on, you can do so from the bottom right hand corner of your screen and I would recommend that you do. The paper space is adjustable in size, but its primary goal is to give us a reference for the aspect ratio of our images. If you're not familiar with aspect ratio, resolution, and pixel size, I'll put a link to my video explaining their relationship in the description and the end screen. The default shortcut to zooming in the paper space is control and the middle mouse scroll, but control and the middle mouse button depressed is the default pan for geometry. For quite some time now, I've had my controls set so that right drag is pan for the geometry, and this led me to use shift and right drag to pan the paper space. This makes it easy to remember. Now, even though a zoom paper space shortcut already exists, I set my shift and middle mouse button to zoom the paper space as well. I find it easier for me to remember that shift is my modifier key for moving the paper space rather than switching back and forth between control and shift. While we're here, I'll recommend that you switch your rotate to rotate free as well. If you're a SOLIDWORKS user, it's likely to feel more comfortable to you as it has a moving anchor point. So where does this leave us? Our right mouse button pans the geometry, shift and the right mouse button now pans the paper, middle mouse scroll zooms the geometry, and shift in the middle mouse press zooms the paper. Remember, this would be a button press and a movement of the mouse, not a scroll, as scroll is not customizable as far as I'm aware. Once you get used to this setup, you can work inside and outside of the image, if you will, seamlessly. Now let's explore the alignment options. I'll use the collaboration tree to select the callouts to modify their properties. The alignment options could be a long discussion as there are many options, but I will show you what my preferred settings are for ease of use. My method is to set parametric first. This will draw the balloons in close to their associated components. This is good, but they're still sort of anchored to the paper. So after selecting parametric, I choose free 3D. This allows the balloons to sort of float in 3D space. I find that's a good working mode until I get everything nailed down. Once the view and orientation and everything is all set, then you can use any of the other alignment options or use magnetic lines to decide where you want the balloons to go. Well, I hope these tips help your next documentation project go more smoothly, and we'll see you back next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.